I have finally received everything that I've ordered for my B6 and B6 Slim. So I thought I would share a little chit chat with you um, about the struggle of B6 and B6 Slim while I'm kind of putting this together to kind of show you like my vision and option for 2018. So first of all, let's start with the notebook itself. If you have not seen my unboxing for this, I will link it at the end of this video or down below. This is the B6 Slim Outlander Leather, which is no longer available in this color, I am sorry, um, in the color Time Traveler. And I have the little inscription Solitude at the bottom here. And it's beautiful. So this is actually a classic, which I ordered um, white top stitching and a pen loop for. So it actually did not come that way. Um, but I love it. I think it's the most beautiful little notebook and it's so thin. It makes me super happy. It's like Midori Traveler's Notebook Old School Thin, which is awesome. So this is like a really great leather. They did bring back a, um, I guess for like the holidays. I hope that they bring it back for longer than that. It's called the Highland Green in the Outlander leather and um so you can get that color it's right now on pre-order which i mean it says out of stock but they're supposed to bring it back again so if you missed it no worries it will definitely come hopefully in a lot of other colors in the future as well because this leather is awesome so the struggle with b6 and b6 slim is real all right so i remember hearing about the b6 slim I think in 2015, it was a video by Miss Vicky B, and I will link that down below. And she had mentioned that there was this new size around and everyone was like, oh, this is fascinating. This is cool. A new size. That's always great. I was sort of like, pass. And I decided to go ahead and pass on that because um, I was still very much in love with the personal size and the struggle was real with the personal size. So what does that mean? It means that... A lot of people still weren't selling personal size inserts and it was stressful because you know in this community you'll see people that have like all of these different like um, uh, inserts that are already like pre-printed and stuff and you want to get the same ones because they make them look wonderful and you think maybe that could work for you but unfortunately they didn't have it in that size so I didn't want to jump on the B6 B6 slim bandwagon um for a while because I wanted to make sure that I could go ahead and purchase things in that size and not have the same struggles that I was having with the personal size which I'm no longer in because again the struggle was real I could never find a personal size insert um, that I could just go out to like Walmart and buy because they just didn't sell them really in that size which is what I'm finding is happening sort of in the B6 and B6 Slim. So one of the first things that I ended up doing was, was taking off the black elastic. I ended up getting a navy one with my Foxy Fix order, and I just felt like it suited it a lot better. So I don't even know if you can tell because it's just a slight difference, but um, I like it more. So I ended up putting the navy on here, and I think I might order some more navy elastic so that I can put it on the inside. Not that it matters all that much because you can't really see it, but I don't know. I like the navy the best. Um, so there's that. So um, if you've seen in a previous video, I did cut down a bunch of Traveler's Notebook inserts that I love. So these are technically not B6 Slim. They are a little bit more narrow by like a quarter of an inch or something like that. Um, this is a Chic Sparrow insert that I bought that is B6 Slim. Um, let me see here. And just slightly narrower. But I'm going to make it work. I don't think it's that much of a difference that it's a big deal. So I really got to change these up here and make it a little bit tighter because it's driving me crazy. Okay, so when I started buying for the B6 and the B6 Slim, because I ordered them at the same time, um, the struggle was real right away. I found that some of the Etsy shops that I was ordering from, they carried B6, but they did not carry B6 Slim or vice versa. And I was like, come on, it's been, you know, like two years, almost three, 
depending on, you know, when it first came out. And I'm like, why, <laughs> why is this happening? Because I thought that the B6 and B6 Slim was pretty popular. I know that people are just getting off of that um, Pocket Pocket Plus bandwagon. So I guess um, B6 Slim is still kind of like, you know, something that uh, people are still coming around to. I'm just gonna put these in here to kind of show you what it looks like full. Um, why is this like a struggle here? I don't even know. Um, yeah. So a friend gave me this insert and she knows that I'm not like a super fan of the small dot grid, but I think it's gonna work out and I'm gonna show her, I'm gonna prove to her that I can use this and make it awesome. So thanks so much for this because I'm gonna do it. Plus, I know a lot of people like this insert for the B6 Slim, so it's important for you guys to see how it looks in here. Um, I think you can get these at Jet Pens, maybe Amazon, but I think mostly Jet Pens. And I think I was gonna order one just to give it a go, even though I'm not like in love with a smaller grid, but I think they were out, so hopefully they're in stock now. Okay, so there's how it all looks. The inserts in there and this is four because there's four strings in here um yeah all right so one of the first things that i purchased was from taroko designs so i will try to find the video and link it down below but again this is one of those shops where um i'm sorry i'll take these out because i'm sure it's causing a glare um they basically had B6 Slim, so I was very excited, but they did not have a B6. So part of my reason for doing this video is trying to understand why it's such a struggle to get some sizes uh, as opposed to others. So what I learned from a video by uh, Rowena, I believe that's her name, from Sojourner, is that she did a collab with Taroko. And basically what I believe that means, and I again, I will link that video down below if I can find it, um, is that she basically asked them to make some things for her B6 Slim notebook so that she could have, you know, some options. So I believe that's why they carry B6 Slim um, in the uh, zippy pouch, which this is, and then also in these awesome little uh, B6 Slim folders. So I think that's why this shop technically carries B6 Slim, but not B6, because they were asked to do this. So that kind of made some sense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just shove everything in here to see how much we can stuff, <laughs> because I know a lot of people do like to stuff, and maybe you're interested in going into the B6 Slim or B6 size, and you're thinking about stuff. So, um... I love my zippy pouch in my standard size, so of course I wanted to get one in the B6 Slim because I don't know how I would live without it <laughs> now that I've had it. So I actually um, bought this for my B6 size notebook, even though I know it's going to be, you know, significantly more narrow. Um, I thought I would go ahead and purchase one because sometimes I tend to like folders. I have like a love-hate relationship with folders. Sometimes I use them and then I get annoyed with them and I take them out so I will just go ahead and put it in here to again show you how much it can fit in here and they do come in these two colors it's kind of like a really khaki brown color these are supposed to be those notebooks that you can wipe down I don't know why you would ever need to do that but um I guess you're supposed to be able to do that um, but they're very nicely done you can see that they're sewn down here at the bottom beautiful beautiful and what's so funny is I believe that Tokyo designs or Taroko sorry excuse me Taroko designs they're from Japan and it shipped to me faster than anything else I bought from Etsy in America <laughs> I thought was pretty funny so um they just might have these things in stock I guess I'm not entirely sure I'll just put this around here Ooh. I'm struggling, 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 struggling. Okay, so there's that. So you can see here with the idea book that um, it sticks out a little bit, but not too much. And then over here with, um, again, these are the Traveler's Notebooks. It does stick out. But um, I believe that that happens too with the standard size, which is meant for these notebooks. It 
it's still like more narrow. So it's just the way that they design them. Okay, so this is with a zippy pouch and two folders. Looking good, looking good. Okay. Um, and then of course with Chic Sparrow, I ended up getting two of these dashboards. Um, and I again have a love hate relationship with these things because when I want to slim down, these are like the first thing usually to go. Jeez, I don't even have space. And a lot of times I like to put all of my accessories all on one um, elastic. I just like pile them all on because I don't like to deal with, oh, look at this. This might become a hot mess here. I don't even know. Um, I like to put all of my accessories on the first elastic because I don't like to deal with the writing on a hump. And sometimes that first one, it gets the biggest hump, if you know what I mean. So look at how, how big of a hump that kind of is getting. So if you put all of your um, accessories on one, then you don't have to worry about it because you can just write on the rest of them. So that just depends on whether you're going to have three or four notebooks in here. And I have no idea what I'm going to do now. <laughs> I'm just trying this out to see how it all goes. And I'm just gonna throw this around one just because I know that I already have an accessory around every single notebook, but I wanna see, again, how much I can stuff in here. Cause I know some people like to, oh, well, I guess I could use this and put another one in there. So we're going from four to six notebooks. See how that goes. in here like this. And this is actually a beautiful card that I ended up getting from um, Gulag Pens as a little thank you note from purchasing from them. And because it was this beautiful blue and black, I thought it would go really nicely with this notebook. So I'm going to end up putting this, I don't know if I'm going to put it on insert or inside of a dashboard, but I thought it would go really nicely in here. And I think I actually have several of these because I order a lot from them. I wish it would, I mean, I don't know what the elephant stands for. Um, you can see there that it says gulaypens.com. But um, I wish it would do some more animals in the blue because it's so pretty. And then I could have a bunch. And then of course I have these and I need to put somewhere in here as well. Hmm. All right, so then I ended up buying something from this lady and I will flash her name on the screen because I butcher names. I think it's like Rinkman. Rinkman? Reichman? I'm not sure. Um, I wanted to purchase one of her zippy pouches first but again because of the struggles with Etsy um, they make these as as they go you know um, as they're ordered so that they don't you know have this like a bunch of stuff they can't sell. So um basically she was already like these were not on her website anymore on her Etsy shop they were like sold out and so you just kind of have to stalk her and I did I stalked her for like a month until I saw that they were available again and of course I had already decided to go with a zippy pouch and these folders um but when I saw that she was selling them again I had to have them I was like I have to so <laughs> I bought two so this is in the b6 slim and this is in the b6 and it's interesting because this one's a little bit shorter. I don't know if you can tell really. And I don't know if that's on purpose. I don't know if it's because she needed to make this a little bit wider. And it's only a little bit wider. Um, not much of a difference there. I mean, well, I guess there is with a zipper. So it is a little bit of a difference. But they both work just fine. And again, as you can see here with these Taroko design... Um, folders, they're still going to be a little more narrow. So if you just wanted to go with the B6 slim you for both, you could. Um, and I think that maybe the shortness of this one might have been that, you know, when she was sewing it, it just became shorter than it was supposed to be. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not mad at her for it. I mean, they're both gorgeous. I love them. I mean, look at this. So in here, you end up getting a, a zipper and then you end up getting a little bit of a pocket here and then you get one two three 
four pockets here and then like a fifth pocket over here and it's just beautiful I just can't even believe it so apparently she's supposed to make these out of Trader Joe reusable uh, bags that you purchase um, they, she might actually use other bags as well I'm not sure um, but that's what I've, I've heard now these two are kind of different and I believe it says so on her shop like this has more of a shiny glossy finish whereas this one's a matte one and I personally like the feel of this because I think that this will move around a lot less than this one the inside here is glossy a little bit though and isn't it just beautiful you have like is it like a geisha girl and you can see her face here and then you see the back of her head here and it's just beautiful and again it has the zippy pouch and then you have a pocket here, and then you have one, two, three, four, five pockets. And it's just beautiful. And she also makes wallets, which now I kind of want one. Um, and I'm kind of sad I didn't get these in like all of the sizes, but um, I just couldn't afford it at the time. And so I want to make this perfectly clear that um, if you've been following my channel, you know that I have been doing a bullet journal for three months. I wanted to try to do it for a quarterly goal. So it's been taking me, I think... So it took me about four months to buy all of this stuff, okay? So I didn't purchase it all at once. Um, I would have to like, you know, take out a credit card, or <laughs> make space on a credit card in order to do that. I just couldn't afford to do that. So I've been buying this stuff slowly for about four months. And again, this notebook was a Christmas present for my boyfriend because he knew that around Christmas time, last year I couldn't order one because they were all sold out so I ended up getting it a little bit early but um yeah so if you're someone who's like how do people afford this stuff do they just have like a bank account <laughs> with endless amounts of money the answer for me is no of course I don't um I have to buy it slowly and so it was really great to buy this at the time I was doing the bullet journal thing because a bullet journal really doesn't take any money at all you can just use whatever you have which I mean is true with a traveler's notebook but we tend to want to have all of these other little accessories and stuff so there's that but these are beautiful I'm gonna put this one in here this one is meant for my b6 sized and I just thought that this blue went so well and it does I mean look at that it's gorgeous I love this blue and there's that looks good looks good looks good beautiful all right so let's see how we're doing oh look chunky monkey For sure. Yep. Um, it's like, no, there's not really overhang. Yeah, we're good. So again, I have one, two, three, four, five, six inserts. Some of them vary. Most of them, like four of them are the same size and then two of them are different amounts of paper. So there we go. Look at that. You can hold so much in here. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so one of the last things I purchased, you're like not anybody until you have dashboards, right? No, I'm just kidding. But um, I'm trying to do that whole Carrie Harling um, functional versus pretty planning. I'm trying to find a medium in between that. And I think dashboards are, you know, one of those things. So I ended up getting some from Planner Press. And I did get some stickers, some thank you stickers. Isn't that awesome? I love that. So again, here is the struggle, all right? So like you saw here with um, this Etsy shop, they ended up carrying B6 and B6 Slim, which was awesome. I couldn't really find, unless you want to buy these Japanese notebooks, which are beautiful, by the way, um, I couldn't find any B6 Slim size notebooks that didn't have this tiny grid. So I ended up having to go to... Traveler's Notebook Company, which again, they are a Japanese company, but look how much bigger their grid is. It's just like really big and nice. So again, there's that struggle I was having with the personal size where I can't really find notebooks in the B6 or the B6 Slim size that I actually want, um, which is kind of frustrating. But I will note that in the B6 size, I do like these life notebooks, but they don't come in B6 Slim. So again, there has to be some like measuring and cutting down of notebooks there. So in here with the planner press, um, I bought like a, I don't know what you call them. They're like a, a set I guess and they come in a set of four 
and they're gorgeous. So if you know me, you know that I'm not a fan of flowers, but if I can find some that are like tastefully done, I will purchase them. So I thought that these were really elegant and beautiful and I loved that they were blue. So I thought they would fit really nicely in here. Um, so these actually come in two different ways. You can get them like this, where you just get them blank, or they also come pre-printed. So basically they have like this oval shape here, that's like a frosted shape, and then they have writing on them. And I believe they come in months, weeks, bills, and notes. And I am like not a fan of having an insert just for bills. So I mean, I didn't have a problem with just having like an insert or a dashboard that said, bills on it and knowing that inside was an insert for my journal like that wasn't a problem my concern was again with this shop they didn't have these in a b6 slim so I had to order them in a b6 and I knew I was going to fit them in my b6 slim so I didn't want to order them um with the writing on them because I knew that I was going to have to cut them down and I was concerned that I was going to have to cut either the oval end or the words um in the lettering so I just ordered them blank plus you guys know how much I love my Avery labels so I know that I could print on my Avery labels and use like a like a punch to put a shape here if I wanted to do that and so can you so um that wasn't really an issue but again the struggle is real now I've noticed since then because I was looking on her website because I've ordered other travelers notebooks since then to kind of see if they had any um that were elegant like this but in a different color I have noticed that some of her newer dashboards do come in b6 slim and b6 so I think you might be able to ask her hey could you please cut these down and she might say yes to that I just don't think she's updated the older because it's like an older set um to be six slim so that again is another option you can't always ask people again that is always another option you can always ask Etsy sellers hey by the way do you can you customize these things and they're usually pretty great about that it just depends um so I'm actually not going to cut these down but I'm going to put them in here to show you kind of how they look because again the struggle is real um if I decide to go ahead and print off a bunch of inserts that I buy from Etsy. I haven't purchased any yet because they haven't started making a lot of them for 2018 yet. They just have like this last quarter of 2017. So I haven't really decided if I'm going to get any or not. But of course they're going to be a little bit wider than this. So that's again another struggle. It's like do I cut these this size or do I cut them a little bit wider since the B6 Slim is a little bit wider than these Traveler Notebook. Um, inserts. So let me put these in and show you how they look. Okay, so that's all of them in there. And of course, there's going to be overhang with these because these are actually B6 size. But until I know what notebooks I want to put in here, I don't know <laughs> how much I want to cut them down. So if you were like me, and I just cannot believe that people in the pretty planning world can really write on this stuff. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, if you're like me and you basically um, are thinking about, man, I know that as soon as I jump on this B6, B6 Slim bandwagon, they're going to come out with like the G3, which um, there is no you know, paper size in G3, as far as I know. But um, that's how I kind of feel. I feel like I jumped on that personal bandwagon and then all of a sudden everybody was on to the pocket pocket plus size. And then um, I wasn't into the pocket plus because I was like, well, you know, I just, I can't write in that size. It's too small for my writing. Um, I saw the B6 Slim and I waited a while because I was like, I want people to have stuff in these sizes so that when I go, um, I can find them. The, the truth is, even with like DIY Fish, which is pretty big on Etsy, she doesn't have B6 Slim inserts. I feel like she has like maybe one or two, but not all of her inserts come in B6 um, Slim size. And I think the same is true for the B6 Slim um, or vice versa. So I was just like, man, the struggle is still real after almost three years. So um, if you're feeling like you're in the same boat, please let me know down below. And maybe it's not even in this size. Maybe, you know, it's a different size. But this is why I stayed in the standard for almost a year, because I knew I could find everything in the regular size, standard, Midori size um, from pretty much every shop. 
Whereas the other shops, I just, I couldn't find anything. Luckily for me, I kind of got over buying things. For a long time, I knew that I could buy stuff in the standard size and either cut it down and make it fit. Whereas B6 and B6 Slim, you really have to like customize it or order things customized for it specifically. And I just didn't want to order things. And I've gotten over that in the past year. I've certainly been buying from a lot more Etsy sellers or sellers in general um, and finding my way around sizing and things that um, I feel pretty comfortable and confident. But I know there's a lot of people out there who do not like to cut things down. They just like are never going to get that together. They're like, I don't understand how to do it. And they just want to buy things in that size. So um, these are some of the shops that I have found that are carrying B6 and B6 Slim. And again, even some of these shops are not carrying both. Now I've heard from people that you can take these to like Kinko's. I certainly don't have one of those. Maybe you can take it to Staples or Office Depot and they have machines where you can tell them the measurements and they can cut them down for you. Again, I'm sure that costs something, even if it's not too much. So that's also something to keep in mind. And so the last thing, I ended up purchasing was this because it definitely reminded me of Doctor Who and that um, police box because I love 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 Doctor Who um, I purchased this on Amazon and I found like some charm bracelets that had a bunch of different stuff but I was trying to keep it simple I don't like a lot of dangling things now you can certainly put it on here or back here which is where I think I'm gonna put it um, but I was thinking about buying a charm bracelet and then taking it apart because it had a bunch of different Doctor Who stuff on it. And I was like, yep, that's for me. And there you go. So if you feel like you get frustrated with like really big YouTubers who keep bringing out all of these new sizes and you're just like barely on the last size, I feel your struggle, I promise. And if you feel frustrated with some of these traveler notebook companies that keep coming out with different sizes and you're like, I am just getting used to the other size, I understand your struggle as well because it seems like everyone gravitates to that new thing and then we all kind of gravitate to that as well because we keep seeing it everywhere, right? It just feels like there's this pressure to go along with everyone else. Now I stayed away from the Pocket Plus because I really understood that that just was not the size for me, but giving into the B6 and B6 Slim was more about understanding and appreciating that this size might be the perfect little size and it might be it's pretty close to the personal but again I can find more things in the b6 b6 slim than I can in the personal but I for a really long time felt like the personal was the perfect perfect little size and I loved it so much but again I couldn't find a lot of things for it and um at the time I was on the personal bandwagon I wasn't willing to pay the money to buy from other people but now I am so I thought why not try this out and I'm thinking that this is a really great option for 2018 um I don't know it looks pretty good and how can you not love this blue color it's just fantastic and everything in here is just I, I feel like it was worth the money but again the struggle is real so don't forget to like comment and subscribe I hope that this was helpful thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon Bye.